Just a month after rolling out, the Metro Transit Green Line is rolling in the numbers. In fact, average weekday ridership in the first month has already exceeded goals a year from now. It took several years and nearly $1 billion to construct, but the light rail line connecting the Twin Cities is off to a very good start. In many places where businesses were forced to close during the lengthy construction, new shops are already opening up. We sent our Bill Hudson out today to find out where all the passengers are coming from. He joins us live on the train now. Hi, Kim. I might have to move and let a passenger uh, through the doors here, but it's really been a nice ride down University Avenue. We're getting our nice cross section of riders as well from uh, commuters going back home after a day of work to the young parents taking their kids out on a day trip, maybe even a young couple searching out a new restaurant. But what Metro Transit says is really encouraging is that they've surpassed these ridership numbers despite the University of Minnesota not being in session. After disruption in construction and disagreement over need, there's little debate the Green Line's off to a successful launch, due largely to riders like Melanie Wayne, who brought her girls down from Ham Lake for a light rail excursion. Just to come down and we can be in Minneapolis and find some place to eat for lunch and come over to St. Paul and look around and go back. <laughs> Since rolling out service June 14th, the average weekday ridership is exceeding expectations. Metro Transit had projected 27,500 weekly rides by next year, but it's already surpassing that, posting over 30,000 weekday rides. Spokesman John Zviglin attributes that to the route's traditional transit corridor and simple curiosity. What we've seen is people who've never taken transit before coming out, exploring, and finding all those great destinations on the Green Line. And that's what makes light rail work. The billion-dollar 10-mile transit line came at another cost, lost businesses along the route. Well, we've definitely seen more business. Ollie Dodge manages Nong Vietnamese Bistro at University in Victoria. It held on during construction and is now reaping the rewards. You see people with little pamphlets that are like checking out like all the different stops and the things, different things they can find along the way. It's just something new and different for us to do. Now Metro Transit says they're also very, very impressed with the weekend travel numbers. They're averaging about 24,000 riders a day on weekends. So very strong uh, interest in the Green Line on weekends, Kim. And I can tell you we're almost coming into the TCF Bank Stadium. This is going to be the way to get to a Vikings game this fall, Kim. Oh, certainly. You know, I took the Green Line last weekend at TCF Stadium. The thing was packed, so people are using it. It's flawless. Yeah. Very right. nice. Thank yeah. you, Bill. Enjoy.